I think it's time to ground the rats with wings for a third time, everybody. Yes, yes, this here is a revisit of a revisit, technically. But to my surprise, even, we've got a whole lot more to discuss over just a simple update to the things, as I have gone two videos without talking their additional spawn habits, and I don't know why. But hey, that's what we're here to correct, right? So do yourself a favor and get started by turning on Hollow Knights. Why? Well, because then we can look to encounter battalisks in newer locations like graveyards here. Not to be fair. What we're seeing is but a chance to spawn a wave of three per dig in any grave in the world, but doing so in a graveyard is cooler, so do with that as you please. But to continue, even our hunts, quote-unquote, offer us an opportunity to be ambushed by bats, and I do mean literally. At any point on the track, you could very well be attacked, so be mindful there. But perhaps the real reason to wish for more bats with this event on is mad science. For you see, with Battalist Wings come Arboretum Experiments, and with Arboretum nonsense comes totally normal trees that we can do with as we please. Eventually, of course. But enjoy it. Now why Passbeard didn't tell you any of that is questionable, but at least he knows why he couldn't talk about these next changes back in the day. The rifts of the post-end game weren't even a thing yet. But with the cave ones come Acid Rain, and with Acid Rain comes all sorts of unique changes to Battalisks themselves. Their eyes begin to glow. Their damage jumps from 20 20 to 30, their attack speeds increase by 25%, and finally, their loot changes. All their typical drops will now double their chances to drop, while also gaining a 20% chance to give us Niter as well. It's kind of neat stuff. Sadly though, that's really where all the freshest facts end, as truly the only other interesting tidbit that would be potentially unknown to some people out there would be how naked mole bats will automatically aggro onto us if we happen to fight a battleist near them, but not the other way around which is kind of a little strange. But here's hoping most of this stuff won't be. Even if you're watching as a complete newbie, chances are you've opened up a sinkhole and have seen these things pour out of them at some point. And that's typical. Now more than ever, as Clay actually sped up their spawn timers, so do with that as you please. But no, I don't mean their respawn timer, as that's still at a single bat every minute, but only during the mornings. But in knowing where they are still coming from after all this time, little traps like this are still still 100% viable, so don't go question that after today. No, no, no. You might as well go ahead and make multiple bat traps at various sinkholes because why not, right? You've got like 10 of the suckers. But if for whatever reason you've exhausted that, never forget where they truly reside, the stalagmite biome. Well, one of them at least. The one with all the bat poop in case you're wondering. Battleists produce it periodically, so chances are it will all lead you to their bat caves, which are home to four battleists themselves as you can see. Now every 20 seconds or so, the cave will spew one of those four out of it, and a new bat will fully respawn every two minutes if we kill them, but on occasion, you might actually go see a bunch of red eyes within a single cave, and these caves will summon all four bats at once if you get too close, so make notes. But here's the truth, folks. Bats are laughably easy to handle. For one thing, they prioritize meat over combat, so baiting them for simple kills is very simple. Plus, you get to knock the food right out of their mouths, which is actually a unique mechanic. To continue though, we all know that they love to circle their prey, and how they can be rather annoying about it at that, but they will always straight up telegraph their attacks, or just fly right into your smacks and instantly die. I mean, the guys only have 50 health and deal 20 damage for the most part. There is no other thing for me to say beyond warning you about their screech, as then that means they're about to attack. So, attack first, and then reap the rewards. As we've discussed, Battalists now have Niter in their loot pools, but by the time you are dealing with Acid Rain, such things likely won't matter, so let us just stick to the basics, yes. Dropped 25% of the time, Battalist Wings can be eaten if one chooses to do so, and no, it's not just Weber alone here who is benefiting from no sanity drain from cooked wings, it's everyone. They are truly not a bad snack at the end of the day. And said wings also go into a not half bad weapon in the Bat Bat that that is also cheaper than ever at three wings over the original five. And as I said, it's decent. Nothing spectacular at but 42.5 damage a hit. However, each hit leeches 6.8 health only to return it to us 
But note that this process also costs us 3.4 sanity every time too. So in essence, it's kind of like a weapon that should only be used as a strategic tool and not a day-to-day -day type of thing, if you know what I mean. But you do you. As we need to finish the loot talk with doo-doo. Battalisks will drop guano when flying about, or 15% of the time when killed outside of acid rains, and the stuff is actually better than it gets credit for. Not only can it fertilize anything we need, just like manure and or rot, it is actually doubly effective as a fertilizer itself over manure. Manure will grant 8 nutrients, guano 16, and it's that simple everybody. But it does have more to offer us. Not only does it have its own turf craft since we last met, but wormwoods still benefit from slathering up with the stuff. Take advantage of these very quick 3 health a pop slathers for sure. But to truly wrap up this revisit of a revisit comes a couple last notes. Hammering a broken ancient pseudoscience station down in the ruins gives us an 11.2% chance to see a wave of 5 battalisks, if that's something you're into of course. Battalisks sleep themselves in the event they can't make it home, or just simply don't have one of course. And lastly, unlike a lot of other mobs in this game, hitting a sleeping battalisk does not automatically wake up the others. And yes, this is actually a way bigger deal than it sounds. But there you have everyone, our third guide on the classic rats with wings of Don't Stop Together, and easily our most complete one yet. And that was the point. From acid rain upgrades to a deeper dive into their wings, here's hoping we won't be needing the fourth one of these, am I right? But I will say this, the video got me to thinking. Is there a mob out there that we need to revisit desperately? If you can think of one, let me know. And heck, now that I floated that, maybe it's not a mob. Maybe it's a biome. Maybe it's an item. Maybe it's a season. If you think we need an updated guide, post it below. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all. Don't turn batty on me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.